uh, different areas in the state, street cars, and uh, it had that picture in there. And it said it was used as a funeral car. Funeral car. I've seen some of those. The big cities had those years ago. Well, supposing your, your tracks didn't run by your house. How'd you get it to, you well, know, they were always in the homes then. You know, I don't know. And, the, and of course, the, it had to run, the trolley line had to run out by the cemetery, too, actually. Yeah. But uh, there were several, a few of those cars uh, around the country, uh, and mostly in the big cities. But was there one here at Parkersburg, you think? Yeah. Really? Darn. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. I didn't get here till uh, the 30s. Uh, we came here in 36, uh, and uh, the, there was a series of cars that were older that were, had been taken out of service by that time. I had a friend uh, up at Vienna who was, uh, well, he was a relative, my cousin's grandfather, bought a lot of those old cars and made chicken coops and things out of them up there. Had them on his farm there in, in Vienna for years, and they were some of that old first series of cars. In 29 is when they began to, to get the newer, but there were some older cars, like the 621-2 and 629 were the old type car, but I'm talking about some old four-wheel cars they had here where, that had arch roofs on them. I've seen pictures of them, but I never saw the cars. And then, of course, you had open cars here years ago, yeah, I guess, yeah. and even horse cars. That, that's awesome. Yeah, I had, uh, took some pictures of the school and uh, my daughter was with me, and we had them out on display. And the kids would come by and look at them. Well, one was a mule drawn car. And the little girl, first grader, comes up and she looks at it and she puts her hand up, you know. And I said, uh, What do you want, honey? She said, Why are the ponies pulling the wagon? I said, uh, <coughs> I said Those aren't ponies, those are mules. And I said, That's not a wagon, it's a streetcar. I said, uh, It's like the buses we have today. I said, yeah. For a penny you get on and you can ride. I didn't tell her that uh, you can walk faster than the mules and sometimes the mules didn't want to run. So she looked at it, you know, and I was trying to explain all to her and she's very serious about it. And she looks up at me with the prettiest blue eyes you ever saw and she says, did you ever ride in one of them? Because I told her it was a hundred years ago, you know. And my daughter fell off the stool laughing and I just doubled over and the teacher came up. She says, I'm sorry. She says, but they see gray hair and they think you're a hundred years old. <laughs> Who was it had the other studio here? Was it, didn't Davies have a That's studio? Right, yeah. I remember that one. But I don't, didn't remember you, this one as well as I did them. Yeah, Pop was on uh, 7th Street, across from North Junior High School. I see. And then uh, Davies was up on uh, Market, uh, just below 9th, between 8th and 9th Street. I and see. Westenberger was another one. He was between I remember the that name. I don't know that. Was. He was through, above the Masonic Temple. But Davies and my father were good friends, and they never jumped on anybody, you know, competition-wise. No. Davies had the Visco, mm -hmm. and uh, he did all their photography, and Pop never tried to get it. He had the Corning, he had Ames, and he had all the other planes. Oh, right. And uh, Mr. Davies would go to do uh, some shots at the Visco, and he'd call my father and say, can Paul go with me? Mm -hmm. So I'd go with him and run the lights, because he didn't use flash, he just spot the old you know. Did, did you ever use those kind of where you ignite them and yes, the powder goes yes, off? I've seen it. That yeah. takes you back for quite a few years. But uh, Mr. Davies always flipped me 10 bucks. And so oh. I come back to the studio and Pop says, what did he get? I said, 10 dollars. He said, damn. He called me and said, Lee, don't give this kid money. Now I got to pay him. <laughs> <laughs> no, at the uh, down there where Sid's was, <clears throat> up on the second floor, there was some kind of dinner going on. And uh, <clears throat> Pop had a fella that would use that flash thing. Yeah. And uh, you poured that powder on it. It was, it was like a tea. Yeah. You poured the powder and then you had a, just a plain old uh, cap, like you used in cap pistols when we were kids. Yes, sir, right. And you pull this cord, or this uh, chain, so you, you stuck your thumb in this uh, hole, and you pull that chain and made beautiful light, you know, as my father said. Yeah. But uh, he was, they were taking this uh, dinner down there, and one of the waiters bumped into this guy, and jostled him, and all that powder fell on him. Oh, my God. <laughs> and Pop said, that's it, no more. He went to the, <laughs> went to the floodlights and oh, he says, because uh, that thing was blown up. Because the guy down there had blown off uh, two fingers because of stuff that like that. That was powerful stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we yeah. still had a couple of cans of it. And then we moved to the Was it magnesium Street. or what was it? I don't know what it was. But it was poor white and boy. I threw it on the ground out in the back. And uh, Pop came out and he says, don't mess with it. And I said, uh, what was it doing? So he just a match on a little piece of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like lighting a gallon yeah. of gasoline. Yes, exactly. <laughs> now what about Steve Davidson? What's Steve happened? Steve died here. 
1996, <laughs> I, I took care of one of his Is that when he died? I thought he died on sooner than that. No, he, he lived to be in 96, because I, I, I had just left in Annapolis to go to work in North Carolina. And we'd been with him, my wife and I had helped him clean the house, helped him clean the house out. He got to where he couldn't stay there any longer. We put him in an old folks' home there. He didn't live long. He had cancer of the bladder, and uh, mm. he, had, he just had it really tough. But Steve had a great collection of trolley pictures. Uh, between he and me, we had a tremendous bunch of stuff. What happened to him? You get him? I, I got most Did of them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Did you get all I, I, there's, there's a there's a videotape out on this line. Did you know about that? Called Trolleys of the South in Parkersburg. One of them. Is my mm -hmm. movies are being used in their color. I took sh color shots from 1940 to about one. Well, yeah, about 1940 to 1947. When they quit, that seven years. I got a lot of good color shots in the movies. I took black and white shots in 1936. Mr. Robinson, who was a superintendent of the line, gave me a, bought a set of bought a hundred foot of film for me. And so I, but that that film disintegrated, and I don't have yeah. a copy of that, unfortunately. I wish I had kept that. You know, turn it to the uh, tape that they use. Uh, my well, son had did uh, took all uh, eight millimeter film I had mm -hmm. and put it on tape. That's the way to do it. Yeah, I've got my stuff. I have just recently put on mine on DVDs on the little discs now, all my movies. And I've got the Parkersburg that on a disc. I mean, my gosh, those things weigh about six ounces and the, the films weigh Oh, God, yes. yes. <laughs> the films are so heavy. I inherited a bunch of films. I bought 70,000 feet from a guy in uh, Richmond, Indiana. And he had started taking in 1927. Boy, you can imagine what the stuff you could get. He'd got the Pennsylvania trains running through Indiana to New York, St. Louis, and uh, some of the trolley lines over there, too. And one shot he had was a car off on US 40, the old National Turnpike, east of Terre Haute, had rolled over on its side and had a big round tail sign on it. And we got to investigating, and there was only one car in the whole state that ever had a destination sign that was round on the back end. It was number 125 of the Terre Haute, Indianapolis, and Eastern Traction. And we found that that, that was the car that had it on. And this guy made that movie, and I've got, I've got it now. He died, and his wife was going to throw that stuff away. And my friend's uh, wife was a school teacher. This was, they lived in Hobart, Indiana. She said, you know, i got a whole bunch of railroad films that I'm going to throw away. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. They brought those films down to me, and he had them in his trunk with his car, <laughs> and the springs were on. They were heavy enough to just put yeah. them on the floor. Oh, I, God, they yeah. were so heavy, those films were. <clears throat> so a lot of that stuff's been put out. There's a fellow, if you ever want to see some of that stuff, there's a guy in Tampa, Florida, called Heron Rail Services, H-E-R-R-O-N. And he's, he's a bit of a great guy to work with Disney down there and, and add sound to some of these silent pictures. He, he, he can synchronize the chugging sounds while the engine's mm -hmm. running at speed. We used to race engines around this country. I'm, I've got a picture, of course Steve had a, still I don't have many, in 36 I took pictures of freight trains in front of 6th Street Station coming by there. Oh, I know that I do have, I rode the cab of the train 29 in 1953 or 4. I got on here and rode to Chillicothe, that was that mail afternoon mail train. Mm -hmm. I came back on the National Limb of that night, the same night, and I got nice pictures of that. Uh, uh, then the Cincinnatian went through here. You yeah. remember that train? I've yeah, got I beautiful got movies of that I thing. It. I don't know if I got it up there or not. God, i got to get around here and look at all these good things. <laughs> yeah, this section here is trains right over in here. This Never. is flood. You talked about the floods. We got the pictures of floods here. I was here in 37 when that flood was there. Yeah, that was uh, that's the oh, second gosh. biggest. Where was the worst flood? 1913. 13. 13 was worse than 37. Well, they think that there might have been some back in the early time, but they weren't recorded because they said that uh, you know, up on some hillsides they'd find debris, mm -hmm. and uh, which would have put the you know 60, 65 feet of water, but uh, they never knew. It's just like they ran some pictures in the paper one Sunday of the flood pictures, 1913, and. Mm -hmm. They had like third and market, and I said that's fourth and market. And they had fourth and market, and that's fifth and market. And they had ninth and market, and I'm not flipped. Oh. So I called the next day and got a hold of the young man that put it in there, and I said, uh, "Son, I said those were all wrong." He said, "Well, I used to do what was on the back." I said, "Well, you got ninth and market." I said, "Do you realize that if we ever got the ninth and market, the whole town would be underwater?" Yeah. yeah. Because Market Street is a hill. You bet it is. And I says, "What <laughs> you're looking at is the uh, the weather old clock." 
which is at 9th and Market today, but in 1913, it was just about 4th Street. I said, that's what you're looking at. Oh, he said, I didn't know. I said, well, I understand that. I said, you're young. You haven't been around here maybe too long. So I said, if you ever get anything like this, and you're not sure, I said, call me. You don't have to put my name in there or anything, but I'd like to have it, you know, correct. But it's, uh, so many cities don't have this great background of commercial photography. I mean, you've got a great collection in this town as well. Well, you see, thing. see those books there? They're the full. Second shelf. They're all full. Yeah, they're stuff. full. And, you know, like, they're all like this this book here, you know. Oh, isn't that good? Yes. I, I used to have a 616 size camera. That was oh, yeah. good for rare up photography because a four and a fourth by two and a half. We could take engines and well, cars. that's what Steve mostly took was those. I mean, he'd take yeah. those of film, you know, bring them in, pop, develop them. And, and uh, like this railroad car I was talking about, this friend of mine uh, called his home. He found his name, phone number in the phone book. Because out the library, they got all these Indianapolis, they got all phone books, different cities. Mm -hmm. And uh, this woman answered the phone. She says, What do you want? And he said, Well, there's, there's a picture that we thought he might know something about. And she said, you know, something like, uh, he's too busy or he's not well and quit bothering us and go to hell. And she's hung up. She was mad about it. Well, I, we don't know. I mean, he'd come in here and he said, what the hell did you do to me? And I said, like, what? And he told me, that, you know, she just bad enough to go over the place. And I said, I didn't know if it was his wife. Well, but his wife died before him, I think. She died ahead of him, but yeah, it could have been that like caretaker there that he hired to take care of the place after she died. But Steve was a great guy just to throw stuff on the floor after he after he'd read newspapers, he'd just throw them on the floor and of course his wife was continually fighting against that. Well he'd come in he had his class reunion. Oh yeah. And I don't remember what year it was, but I was on Juliana Street. And uh, he came in and he looked I just it was right after my father died and that after eighty one. And uh, he started looking at the pictures and everything. He saw the trains, the street the street cars, and he says, uh, I'll send you a couple of color pictures so that people know what the color of the streetcars were. Yeah. So he sent me that little one over there, that little frame. Which one's that? Oh, I see it here, I believe. Yes. You know, I've got a picture of this Warbon car in color. That oh, really? White and blue, yeah. yeah I don't, if you'd like to have, I'll make you up some prints of those. I've got, mm -hmm. I took slides of those cars. Yeah, that's faded a little bit. I can remember that filling station. Isn't that Julian Street down there near Murder? That's, there? Uh, I've been trying to figure out. I, I think it's down right around there. Could, uh, be. could be, could be. Marietta had a beautiful filling station. They made a postcard out of it. I've got a picture of it. Uh, it was a beautiful state. I don't know where it was, what part of town it was in. But I was going to ask you about, uh, do you have any old, I see some old bus pictures. I've often wondered how many years of bus lines were ran, how many? When did buses start running into Hardingburg, I wonder? You mean the, uh, instead of streetcars? Yeah, I mean, I'm talking about inner city buses coming here, like Greyhound. Uh, oh, was there lines line well, before Greyhound? I saw a bus here, over there. You know, down here, see, is when they opened the Greyhound Terminal on 7th Street. Oh, a new Greyhound Terminal opened with the Gallup program. What date is that? Mm -hmm. down there. My gosh. October 10th, 1936. Oh my gosh! But when I remember first that they were they had a station at the Grand Chancellor Hotel. Yeah, that's correct. I was just going to say that. But I don't <laughs> was that before this? Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before yeah. this, okay. But I'll be darned. Yeah, I remember you pulled in the side there, the bus, and, you, and the bus faced out on Seventh Street. Mm -hmm, and right. I got pictures of Dad getting on a bus there. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a great picture of this bridge here that I took in. And the morning sun on it when it was freshly painted. And um, on the Belfry that, Bridge? Or? Yeah, the old Belfry Well, that's Bridge. East Street there, isn't it? No, that's Belfry. This bridge here is Belfry? That's, no, that's the Fifth Street. The Fifth Street. I'm talking about this one. Oh, there. that one there. Yeah, okay. That looks like it's more messed up on it than it was later on. Was it, did they do some changing in that bridge? I wonder. See, here's the old railway bridge as it used to be originally. Oh, my gosh, that's a rare shot. Wow. That was out of an 1897 book. Oh gosh! Did you ever did, did you ever dabble much with glass plate negatives here to go? Uh, I went into the American Car Foundry in Jeffersonville and it had tons of big 14 to 17s glass plates in, buddy. You print those things, 
And we can't take pictures any sharper than that today with the That's, best cameras we got. Well, you know, I, I was, mean, uh, it was I spoke awesome. at one of the historical groups at the library. Yeah. So after I was done and talking to different people, this man and woman come over and he says, uh, we've got some glass negatives. I said, well, really? He said, yeah. He said, and they said they can't be printed. I said, well, who in the heck told you that? I said, they make some of the prettiest pictures you ever oh, saw. Absolutely. He says, can you do it? I said, sure. So he said, well, bring them to you. So they brought me what I thought would be a dozen or so. He only had 50 of them, I think. <laughs> and they were all small ones. Five or seven. Yeah, maybe he says, five. we don't know who the people are. We don't know anything about it. So I printed them. And uh, there were pictures taken on a front porch. And the man was in uniform, looked like Spanish-American War. Okay. And then uh, different groups, you know, around the house. And then uh, you saw what it looked like. I thought it was Niagara Falls. <laughs> and he did too. Yeah. And then you saw a parade and you saw a couple of policemen with those bell hats on. Yeah. You know? So you knew that had to be back. Yeah. So he and his wife come in to get him and they looked at him and they still didn't recognize anybody. But that falls gave him a clue that it might be uh, Niagara Falls and it might have something to do with Canada. They had relatives in Canada. Mm -hmm. So he was going up and then he and his wife were going to Canada to visit some cousins. Yeah. They were going to take the picture to see if they could identify. But, uh, the thing about these pictures, you can see every rivet on the cars, mm -hmm. but if you looked over the grass, it was blowing. I figured they took it maybe three seconds at F90 or something like that, you know, <laughs> so that the sharpness is well, just off. Awesome. Took, uh, he took one, I remember, I got, still got the negative, in the 40s, they had a parade here for uh, Labor Day. They had yeah. two army tanks here. Oh, my gosh. And it was down in front of the Chancellor and all these guys milling around. And uh, I'd have to, you know, I have to use three or four sheets of cardboard to protect it. Yeah. But uh, I've got about uh, oh, maybe ten glass negatives. But like you say, they, some of those, I mean, they had a lot of, well, they had some eight by tens, but they had 11 by 14s for these big railway cars that they built, you know. Did you get them? Or no. Just... Well, we got some of them. We picked out a few, but I don't know whatever happened. I mean, there were shells. I mean, there were thousands of those things in this old, dirty warehouse. And, uh, but we picked some of the ones that we were interested in, certain interurbans that ran out of Louisville to uh, Indianapolis. But, gosh, I'd like to have that collection of stuff. Well, you know, Davies uh, was in the Veterans what, Hospital. What did Davies say? What had became of his stuff? Well, I'm just going to tell you the story. Okay. <laughs> he, uh, he was dying in the Veterans Hospital, so he called my father and he wanted us to get his negatives, which mm -hmm. I was better if I'd have had his, I'd have had him. Twice as much as I got, you know. Gosh. So uh, we went to his farm over in Ohio, and his mother was still alive, and she wanted anybody to mess with. Oh, so, man. Okay, so he died, and uh, scavengers is probably the kindest word I can use. Went in there. Uh, went in there, and they yeah. stole. Now, it wasn't, you know, someone like this gentleman, or someone like you, or yeah. someone like me. Yeah. Uh, these were high, big shots in this town. You know, because I got some of the names. Oh, and, uh, Oh, I just heard one guy threw glass negatives on the ground after he filled his car and tramped him right oh, up. You know. So oh, I said, well, that, I said, that bastard will burn in hell as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I agree with you there, my <laughs> So I called a couple of them. And as I say, they were big shots. And I said, uh, my father knew them. I didn't know them that well. And I said, can I borrow the negatives? I said, I'd like to borrow 20 negatives and make a print, and I'll give you 20 back. I said, you and I will count them out, 20. I said, well, yeah. I don't want to steal anything. That was no, a dig, you know. Yeah. So, uh, oh, yeah, sure, we'll do it. Well, neither one of them ever called me back. Oh, so the one guy died, and uh, a fellow working there, they were tearing out his, uh, his business and everything, and uh, they were telling him to throw everything away that wasn't in value, and this guy found a box full of negatives. So he took it home. He lived with his sister. And uh, I guess they were there for maybe a dozen years, and he died, and the sister had him, she didn't know what to do with him. Mm -hmm. So a friend of mine was next door talking to some lady about uh, the Nicolette Lumber Company. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was talking to her, her father, her grandfather worked there, and he, he said, do you have any pictures of them? And so she said, yeah, so she went to get them, and she came back, she says, lady next door has a whole box of negatives she don't know what to do with. <sighs> and he said, uh, well, she want to get rid of them? She said, yeah, but she wants them to go to somebody who'll take care of them. And, you mm -hmm. know, Appreciate it. He's I know, just a person. So he went over and talked to her. <clears throat> so that night he called me. He says, "Guess what I got in the trunk of my car?" And I says, uh, 
uh, your jack, a tire, a body. What the yeah. hell do I know? He said, your wise ass? He said, I got 500 or 400 Davies negative. Oh, my God. I said, when are you going to bring them tonight? He said, no, I'll wait till tomorrow because you're a smart aleck. I said, thank you very much. I won't sleep all night. <laughs> so the next morning he oh, came in God. with them. He says, there they are. And he laid them on a seat over there. And I said, uh, you've looked at them. I know. I said, we got anything good? He says, uh, you got 300 people with no way to identify them. Oh, oh. that's terrific. He says the hundred that you will want are stuck together. Oh, oh, oh shoot! Man, that's I terrible. said, uh, well, okay, we'll see. So I took a bunch of them home with me, went through them, and they were just people, you know. Mm -hmm. So the others I left here. So the next day I come in, I didn't have any work to do, so I got back here and I opened up just a little bit, crack in, maybe torn a little bit, poured lighter fluid in it, kept pulling them apart. I see. Now the edges tore. Yeah. But the inside, the main part of the picture, is the helmet, so I could use it. Good. So there's this John King over in Belfort, who's a, you should meet the man. He is a railroad buff. Oh, he's a complete <laughs> wild man. I'll tell you what he did to me one day. Now, this is exaggerating, of course, but I called him. I said, John, some guy brought a picture in. It's taken from Fort Borman. You can see the Ann Street Station. You can see the, tra the tracks. Yeah. And there's a car sitting over here to the left. I said, you can see some numbers on it. I said, I don't have anything to know what to do with it. You want to come over and look at it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I said, well, I said, I'll be here for another hour or so. And the door opens up, and there he is. <laughs> he gets <a> little quick. <laughs> so he looked at it, and he said, oh, he says, that's the poochie poochie with the pocket. I said, John, all I want to know is, what the hell is it? I don't know when it was born or anything. I mean, yeah. he had all the details. All the details. I mean, details. Was amazing. it a box car or was it a railroad car? It was a, tr it was a car. It was the yeah. engine. And like the, uh, the passenger car, car right? tender, the, the coal tender. tender. Oh, I see. Engine and uh, but he he recognized the letter that he told me where it ran and everything. I'll be down. So uh, okay. he's got uh, he got a lot of negatives. And so I said, he says, uh, have you made a copy of it? I said, no, I'm waiting for you to do it because you're a pain in the butt and I'm trying to get rid of you. So he yeah. took it. And he ran off with it. Come back the next day and he had a negative of it in a print. Oh, I see. <clears throat> it was much better than the original one. Was it? Is that right? But he called me after I had these negatives from. Uh, Davies. He says uh, they were tearing down a house over in Belfry and they found a box behind the wall with a bunch of Davies negatives in it. No, I see you're crazy. He said, no, the guy called me, so I got him. So he has a little dark one. He printed them. How were they? What were they out mostly? Well, uh, mostly just scenes around town. I see why it's good. Well, he had two pictures of a house, he says, and I can't identify it. He says, being you're the house detective, could you look at him? I said, bring him over. So he brought him over. And one was the back of the house, and one was the front of the house. Mm -hmm. So I looked at him and I said, John, I says, uh, every time I see bricks like this, I think of a school. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, you can see uh, uh, what's that, uh, stucco on the building. Mm -hmm. So I looked at the one taken from the back, looking towards the front, with a magnifying glass. All of a sudden, I thought, hell's bell, John. I said, that's on 7th Street. That's the old YWCA. Oh, that's the YWCA. Right. That's the uh, okay. Orchard Junior High School on one side and Levitt's on the other. Yeah. And he threw a pencil clear across the room, threw it over to that corner. He was so mad. Because <laughs> he turned the front of his book, and he had a postcard of the YWCA, but he never put it with the other two pictures. Sure. Sure. Pictures all about So <clears throat> he had one of... Uh, this one over here. This car's been saved right here, the 115. It's up in New England, I believe. Right? Yeah, you think you're right. No. See, this is how, see how they tore here on the edge? Oh, but it didn't I see. destroy this. Oh, I see. Oh, well, he had gosh. this picture, and I said, uh, I got that one, John. He says, no, he says, I got it. I printed it. I said, no, I got it. So I went back and brought this out. The only difference is that the same two minutes, this man has his arm down here. Is that right? Yeah, one person. got in the box that I got, the other got behind the wall. Now, how they got separated? Because <laughs> oh, no Davies took oh, two shots at Gosh, it. how about that? But uh, like I say, we, I was able to save all of them. You, well, then you saved some of Davies. All, all, all of them, I saved every one of them. You wanted to know who all was, had come to the Camden Theater over here. This whole, <coughs> this whole wall's theaters. What? They had John Philip Sousa has been here. You, you want to put out a book? I, I want, does anybody want to publish a book on this stuff? Well, uh, is there a historical society here in the town? Hysterical, I call them. Yeah, you call it okay. <laughs> See here, Ethel Barrymore has been here. Oh, my God. Oh, there's a list of some of the people that's been in this thing. And here's a picture of it when it burned. Al Jolson, George M. Cohan, Sarah Bernhardt. 
Oh, oh my gosh. Where was that exactly? He was asking me where that was. Between uh, 7th and 8th Street on Market. 7th and 8th. Okay. And you were asking about some of the theaters in town. These are some of them. If you remember, well, of course, Smoot. Here's Smooth. Burwell. You remember? Burwell, yeah. I had the Virginia. I had forgotten about that yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Smoot. Where was this uh, Hippodrome Garden? The Hippodrome was where the Smoot is. Oh, oh is that right? All right. Let's see what this railroad thing here. In the world, the girls are on the train. Those were some of the uh, uh, stock uh, companies that Warner Brothers sent through to the theaters to perform to get people to come back to the oh, movies. Is that right? They put on a stage show. Gosh, that's interesting. Look at this car here in front of the smooth, this big old. Joe Brown, guys. Yeah, yeah. That's a that that looks like a an ambulance or it's a hearse. It's a hearse. It's a hearse. Yeah, they're showing the first showing of Frankenstein. Do you remember the old man that had a collection of horse hearses down on the first secretary? Tom Ward. Tom Ward. I, I saw that collection years ago. He had cigars, butts, and those things to keep the bugs out of the upholstery. Oh, oh, really? But what became <laughs> of that collection? Uh, James B B Nels, uh, who was James, James, the great singer James? No, James, Melton. James Melton came here and wanted to buy that. Automobile he had. What he had a what was a car? He had a. I don't know. He bought. I, I want to call it an Austin, but that wasn't it. He bought two of his, from what I understand. Did he buy two of yeah. them? Okay. And uh, but I tell you this is a weird story. This man uh, left a note on my door because I generally close up three three fifteen, you know. Yeah. Uh, so he says uh, I'm here to uh, close up my father's uh, belongings here, and I found some pictures. What you might be interested in. He says give me a call. So he had his phone number there. It was to Maryland, and I thought, well, what the hell? Mm -hmm. So I made the call and uh, left a message. So about an hour later, <coughs> the phone rings. <coughs> this guy says, I left you a note on the door. I said, yeah, I left you a note on your phone. Well, I haven't checked it out yet. And I said, well, crap, here, I made this long distance call. <laughs> <laughs> so he says, uh, you going to be there a while? I said, yes, yeah. well, I'll bring those pictures in. I said, okay. So he brought them in. Well, there wasn't anything right home about it, just the pictures of men, you know. This, that, the other. But there was one picture of uh, Tom Ward driving one of the, his hearse down Market Street doing oh a gosh. parade with four horses pulling it. Is that right? So uh, <clears throat> this man's father was sitting on with Tom Ward up on top. About that. And I said, well, that might be of interest to somebody. So I said, he said, well, I'll leave him here with you. And he said, I'll be back in a couple of weeks. I said, fine. So I put him back here. So the next day, these two couples come in, one from Florida and one from Georgia. And... Uh, this lady from Georgia, she went to the sales heights with my wife. She knew my wife, she knew my cousin. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we were real close, got to be real close friends there in a matter of minutes. Mm -hmm. So she walked around writing down the numbers she wanted the picture. So her husband, he says, uh, do you remember that fellow down at that big warehouse? I said, Tom Moore? He said, yeah. <clears throat> he says, uh, you know, he says, my father took me down there one day. And he says, and he showed me the hearse that he put my grandfather in and drove him to the cemetery. And he says he had to put two befores underneath the, the coffin to raise it up because they were going to go through the 37 floodwaters. Oh, my to keep gosh, it dry. I said, really? He says, I'd give anything in the world to get that picture of that hearse. Oh, my gosh. So I turned around and pulled that off that shelf. I said, is that it? And I thought he was going to drop it dead. So, so <laughs> oh, he says, oh, gosh. my God. And here's a picture that I thought would be... No. And here this man, it was so important to him, you know. So I says, well, I'll make you a copy and I'll send it to you, the rest of them. So I did. And uh, it, you know, you tell people and they say, what a coincidence that there's something oh, that you can say it was worth everything to this the man. The thing that was valuable right. on those hearses were those gorgeous hearse lights that used to be on the yeah. side. Beautiful things. I've seen people take them and put them on their oh, front right. houses, you know. The other thing, he had two Winton automobiles. That's what the car I'm talking about, okay. Winton uh, hearses or motorized. I think James Milton was trying to buy it. There was another car here in town that a lady owned. She bought it in Florida. It was a nice Sada Fraschini. Beautiful thing. Um, and, uh, it was it was really one of the rarest cars I'd ever seen in Parkersburg, yeah. I think. It, it was at a 1930 uh, auto show down there. She just bought it. I don't know who she, somebody had money here. I don't know who it was. You ever hear of that car at all? <laughs> Then there was, a, of course, there was an eye doctor here that had a supercharged cord sedan. What was his name? He got in trouble with the law about uh, rebates and uh, tax purposes. Uh, he was he was an ophthalmologist here in town. And he had a 37 cord. You know, all those cords that had the coffin nose fronts on them. Boy, I used to look at that thing. Which I 
But uh, yeah. and, uh, uh, people come in, they look for certain things in particular. Like mm -hmm. a guy came in from Harrisville looking for anything with sterling gas. And he had a pump, he had, hey, here's another there's good man there coming in. <laughs> he said he had all kinds of stuff like that. So uh, he bought all the uh, pictures I had of Sir sterling service stations. Yes, sir. Right. And uh, then he came back in and he uh, sat there in the chair and he went through all the books. Any automobile, he had a collection of post of uh, license plates. So any car that had license plates on, he wanted those. No so he, I got, he's buying stuff right and left. So I found this uh, picture my father took of a uh, Sterling gasoline truck. It was just came in, and uh, so Pop had a picture of it. So I made a print of it. So I had it laying there on the, behind the counter. He came in and he's looking at the ones he just bought. And I said, uh, Cliff, I don't know if you're interested in this. And I reached down. And I said, but. Uh, I found this and I threw it there. <laughs> he and he wet his pants. <laughs> and he was so excited. He said, Oh my God. He said, Is this in my bill? I said, No, that's a freebie. That's a gift to you because you give me too damn much money. I don't want any more. Yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> about oh, a week later, these two guys come in and said, Cliff, send us. He says, We want to look at the Sterling stuff. I said, Okay. Mm -hmm. But first, we want the truck. <laughs> the first thing they did, they remembered the truck. So they went in that truck and they bought a bunch of pictures of the service. You had negative of that truck. Oh, yeah. oh, that's crazy. Yeah, it's over there. So that's somebody similar. else bought service stations besides me. Huh? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Do you remember that gorgeous station in Marietta that there used to be on a colored postcard? It had <coughs> entrances. Oh, I've got it. I've saved that for years. It's a car. I don't It might have been Sterling, but I think it was Sinclair. Oh. I'm not. I it, was down in it was the most beautiful thing. There's that Sterling it's truck right Sterling there. Sterling gasoline truck, 1930. Yeah. Oh, man, that's nice. Is that a Ford? It must be a Ford, isn't it? Yeah, looks yeah, like it. It looks it was like up it. by uh, uh, Dills. Gosh. See, that's what's doing in high school right behind me. Uh, oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Where have you been lately? Oh, just around. Howard, over here's some trains you want to look at. Over here's some trains. No, not at all. Not at all. Station yeah, there's a well, I got my book filled up. I can't put any more pictures in it. That's well, buy another book. Oh, yeah. I never thought of that. <laughs> Here's the tap room of the Chancellor Hotel. Remember? The, oh, I remember here, yes, there's the Chancellor yeah. there in the Gosh, tap room. Yes. Here's the mezzanine. Yeah. I remember being in there, the lobby. Well, I, I was the nicest hotel in town, wasn't it? Actually, at that time. There's the cafeteria. I've been in there many yeah, times. Yeah, we used to eat there once in a while. Gosh, Stratford Hotel. Terrapin Park. There's Terrapin Park. Terrapin that's Park. the Coliseum. Well, that, we the, lived right across the street. Casino. At Carlines, one went down Emerson, by Emerson oh, Avenue, down the hill there. Right? Oh, here. They used to have a cinder. Yeah. There it goes down. The, oh, isn't that interesting? Gosh. That's a glass there. We owned a house right over here across on this other side of the street, but this has been gone. Did that burn down or what happened? The casino burned down in 17, and it Gosh. deteriorated after that. <clears throat> There's the entrance to Terrapin Park there, the white building. Isn't that something? Mm. Now that's a that's a merry-go-round there, that entrance. Oh, is that right? <laughs> and uh, yeah. I had a guy call me from California. He collects uh, stuff on the carousels, and he said that there was one listed as in Parkersburg by this one particular guy. So I said, yeah, I got a picture of it. So he came through here, and he stopped in, and he bought that and another one. And he said, uh, <coughs> he said, your last name is Borelli? I said, yeah. He said, how do you spell it? And I told him, he said, you know some of the most famous Man, horses on the has your name was. on it. Who clicked like Is that right? He said, yeah. And uh, he said, I'm sorry, I'm going to get back. And I said, he said, do you know anything about it? And I said, well, I scared the black folks out of the table. <laughs> <laughs> Horses. I, I wasn't in that Klu Klux Klan march. Here's, did you know they had a roller coaster in Terrapin Park? Yeah, they have a roller coaster there. That's, that's what I see. Can 1914. I that must have been a big. That was a big thing. Well, here, uh, yeah, well, some. here's some. Police department. Had the merry go round here. And the theater and the store. Here's a roller coaster over here. Dance pavilion here. Yeah, guys, have a little park, I guess now. Now over here is yeah, some train yeah, stuff he's got you might want to see. see. Hey, over here. So he's got the final days of the Ann Street Station in 1959. Here's an engine at Ann. Here's in the railroad yard. 
This is some kind of a streamliner. Look at this body that on that thing. The, I've got movies there. That's the Cincinnati. I used to go through here in the afternoon. Oh, okay. A few years. Oh, that's a beautiful Royal Blue engine. I've got movies of that thing. Here's a nice day coach. It's been updated pretty much. Here, did you remember know anything about this? This wreck of a train as Silk Mill said 13 mostly children killed from the steam and hot water from the boiler of that train. How, how could a, well, it must have been the streetcar's fault to run into the train. Yeah, Here's the train yard at a strike in 1946. Oh, look at that. Here's the 6th Street station there. Why'd they tear that down? Oh, I don't know. That would have made a good restaurant, wouldn't it? <laughs> or something. There's the Ann Street. Ann Street station out last. It's still there, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I believe. Here's what I'm interested in these gas electric yeah, stations. Yeah, this thing's built in 1881, the Ann Street Station. That's the Doodlebug. Hadn't I heard you talk about the Doodlebug as a diesel? The Doodlebug went from here to Zanesville. Yeah, right there it is. The they used to park it behind the station there at 6th Street. Here's the track the Doodlebug used to be parked on. This is the main line over here. There's a bunch of guys that have a doodlebug meet every year up at March. I don't know. This one's all decorated up. That engine there for whatever. It looks like people on it or something here. PHS 1921. That's one of the train cars they took the people to on yeah, football games. Football game, isn't that something? And they decorated the engine up on that thing. Oh gosh, that was a generation ahead of us, Paul. Yeah, afraid so. What are this? This is very interesting. Here's an old bus here. I don't know what that is. That's Grinter's Drug Store. Remember Grinter's? Grinter's? Well, I, I remember that oh, yeah. name, Grinter's. See, these names have all forgotten. Then I come in here and I see the other. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a picture of Dills. I didn't, they used to have overhang here, and they put had Christmas decorations out. They had Santa Clauses and stuff out there. He's got pictures of that. Coca-Cola truck. Look at that, the stork baking. Look here, sun, the Sunbeam truck. Look at here. The Sunbeam baking truck up there. That's a nice one. A bus here. I just don't know whether you don't. What, what bus would that be there? Do you have any idea? Mm. It's kind of hard to identify. Yeah. That's in the 20s, isn't it, probably? Maybe it's early 30s. Yeah, maybe early 30s, yes. Yeah. Probably a. The suitcases are up on top. There. Probably a yellow coach. Tell me about this one over here. This bus right here. That, that's an interesting coach. <laughs> you have any idea about that? Did we ever have blue? Go we actually have blue goose lines out west. Uh, I don't know what the bus lines here before Greyhound. What, what lines ran in here before Greyhound? You know. Uh, uh, oh, see, there's picture. one there. A bus picture or a, right there. That down. Where? That, is that a trolley or a diner or that's a bus? A diner. Yeah. Oh, it's, that's, that's the, the diner. diner. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Did you see the Ozzy Nelson car? <laughs> oh, is that right? My gosh. I like those 35 Fords. They were the kind of neat looking cars. I like to have a fan in those. <laughs> that, that picture must have been when they were putting the diner in there. Yeah, yeah. Down on the 7th? 5th Street. On 5th? Yeah. Oh. That's the old telephone. Remember the surprise store? Yeah, oh. sort of do. 55. Here's G.C. Murphy. Here's a streetcar. Yeah. Oh, see that in there. 1913. Oh, that's that's the cars that were here before I came here. Did you ever hear of a, a boat called a Valley Bell? My dad used to talk about it. He, he was raised at Ravenswood, and it used to be a little packet boat that ran 1915, 1921 in there, the Valley Bell. I don't know what happened to it. Boy, these are great shots. Look over here. Oh, well, when you get that. I'd like to live life over again between 1925 and 40. What 15 year period was that greatest period for urban were running everywhere from 25 to 30. And then all those one of a kind streamliners were running 1930 to 40. Boy, Here's a know. picture of Amelia Earnhardt up there at Stuart Field. Oh, this is Amelia, yeah, gosh. I wish we knew what became of her. Nobody ever knew for certain. Al Jolson, Sonny Boy, Al Jolson was here in town. Oh, yeah. Al Here's the Camden Theater. Now you want to know where it was, see? Oh, that's Market Street between 7th Seven, and 8th, about 1926. I'll be done. I was here 10 years later than that. Oh, that's great. You remember this thing? Look here, Guy Lombardo was here, but look at this S.O. truck here. That is that interesting, that S.O. truck. You drive it up there. Streamline, gee, that's a rare that's, piece. And this is Guy Lombardo right there. Yeah, yeah. Market Street in 1910. Oh, my God. 
Jupiter discount store. Over here's the. October 10th, 36. I was living here then. I wonder. Here, over here. Did she land her plane here at the yeah, she came by car. Came by car. Okay. And she spoke at the high school. Yeah. That's the right flyer there when it crashed the lily pond. <laughs> For him. What were they doing, trying to land in the lily pond? No, they weren't trying to land there. Just, right, brothers, uh, at Stevenson's Field. They had one just like this land up at uh, last year, last summer, at uh, Wright's home. And we watched it come in, and boy, one of these wings almost hit the ground. He was landing in a crosswind, but he got through okay. There were two guys that rode out in front. There, there's been a lot of replicas of these yes. built, apparently. Right. And, uh, oh, this is interesting. Wright Brothers plans that flew over Price Ray in 1910. There's Stevenson Field again. Where was Stevenson Field? Then the opening of uh, Stewart oh. Airport. You told me where Stevenson Field is. Where was it? At my, uh, oh. Where the auto dealers are. Oh, oh it's, in the, it's out in the Liberty Street area where the, all the automobile dealers it's are. Out, oh, it's out east there. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Jill's probably about the first one to build out there, wasn't he? There was a Navy plane crash at Wood County in 1945. Oh, Look at that. Gosh. And there's a Corsair with the wings folded yeah, up on it. Yeah, remember well, that? That's a great plane. That's at Wood County. That hangar's still out there. We that carry Wood that thing. Yeah, we carried those on our ship, air, on our aircraft carrier, those Corsairs. I remember when that thing was sitting up there. Remember? Yeah. Dad worked on them, you know, when we were in Akron. And Is he that took right? me up there and showed me all over. Oh, that was a great plane, boy, I tell you. Great plane. Boy, that, yeah, well, yeah, that 2,000 horsepower in that thing. Yeah. Here's Stewart Airport. Now you want to know about Stewart. See, there's the hangar. Yeah. The road coming down to it. Now this is all the shopping mall in here, see. You remember when they picked me up on a rope there? I saw that as a kid. I stood there at my house on 32nd Street and watched that. That's what got me hooked I, on I can flying. remember. That's where I first saw he'd that. He'd come in there and he'd, he'd go down behind the, the trees and all, and all of a sudden I'd hear the engine roar and he'd come up out of there and I'd, the mailbag was way, way back and I'd watch him <laughs> reel it in. You know? Reel it reel yeah. in. Yeah. I've flown in and out of Stewart. I've landed at Stewart. Gee, yeah, I used to, yeah. These are interesting, I must say. Here they are, they? building a hangar at Stewart. Yeah, oh my gosh. Hey, that, that's before the new airport, isn't it? I mean, uh -huh. they must have really thought that was going to be there forever. What is this, an old DC-1 or 2 or something like that's, that? You know, that's that a uh, Boeing... Uh, oh, it's a Boeing... Lock what were they, 649s or whatever, whatever number they were? Know. First, the first uh, really sure. decent passenger airliner. DC-3, of course, wiped it out when they brought out the DC-3. Yeah. In 36, I shot an airplane like that with a skin up at Akron, Ohio. And I thought, it, but, it, but it had a Mar uh, Army markings on it, but mm -hmm. it was chrome. I mean, it was this luminous colored job. Did they have Cubs then? And oh, yeah. I guess that was one of the old J3 Cub. The light drugstore, I say. Here, see, this is a J3 Cub here. These are some students up here saying that's a oh, J3 okay. Cub right there. Yeah. That's Stewart. Tom McCann's shoes. I used to buy shoes three bucks here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's a troop train at 6th Street. Remember here, right up here. Oh, man, that's World War I, though, buddy. Yeah, 1917, 17. 18. Those cars are older than that. Second World War cars. Those poor billion power. Oh, look at the bicycles up there. Gee, what? Now, that's see that's a familiar looking thing. That this round thing. Yeah. This building with yeah. the round windows here. What is that building? The building with the round windows. It's that, a restaurant. Isn't that a diner or something? That used to be the wheel or the wishing well. Wishing yeah. well. Okay. okay. Yes. Nineteenth and Murdoch. Yeah. 19th yeah. and Murdoch. Yeah, it's a used car lot. What was the nightclub we were talking about? The S Nightingale. The Nightingale. Where was yeah. that? Do you have a picture of it? Up it was on up Murdoch, wasn't it? Yeah, up north. Uh, I, re I remember the name of that, but I can't remember where it was. It, it, it was right where they, they had switches where they passed. There was a siding up there across the street. Wishing the Nightingale. Well, I, that's what that is. Yeah, I remember that. I remember the name, but I can't We used to go to Detroit with the wind uh, up. <coughs> Remember Gwen's that sold Hudson's uh, GWI on oh, yeah. the south side? Yeah. It was up about 31st in Murdoch. Pick up a girl on that thing and take him up to Detroit. <laughs> on the right crushed. as you went up? <laughs> Dad went one time when he did that. Oh, he didn't know. I can't imagine that. <laughs> you don't see things and you forget exactly where they were. Yeah, I know. 
Well, if a fellow ever wanted to model, I've, I've been looking for pictures of Indianapolis of certain streets because we want to model some of the streets around the big traction terminal there. And buddy, it's hard to find. Of course, when do you want it? I want it about 1930 or 29, but you know, different times, different stores are in there. You, you know, you don't know what the heck was there that year actually. I had a fellow come in that he wanted pictures of the 6th Street Station. Oh, All man. different views. He was building one for his granddaughter. Yeah, that's, there's a lot of guys that build models of those yeah. stations, actually. And uh, the one picture he had, had yeah, yeah, I forgot about that thing until I come in here one day and saw that. Oh, my gosh. And where was that? I, I can't remember. Now. Is that oh, right there below. 7th, 6th, and Avery. Yeah. The railroad track ran right along the other side. Okay. This is the last one they hung here in town. That thing didn't do well or didn't last long. Well, it was ahead yeah. of its time for one thing. I think it was, I never yeah, parked in it, but I think it was, uh, they, they had trouble kind of automatic, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, and they had trouble with it. The thing, uh, yeah, we, the people get stuck between the floors with the thing. So they yeah. found any other course, so they went out 7th Street. I just parked over here in a new that, parking garage first time. Really? <laughs> Never been in that one. This is Warner Pontiac now, isn't it? Isn't it? That's what I thought. Well, that's Pontiac's back then. Oh, that's a Pontiac garage. It's been a Pontiac all these years. Pontiac? Yeah, that's yeah, right. it's Thomas Pontiac. That's Thomas Pontiac. Yeah. Okay. I don't know when they bought it. Uh, well, I assume when Dills uh, built their new store out on the 7th. On out. Yeah. Oh, darn, that's always been, because I recognize the, the drive through opening here. I saw it someplace. Um, uh, he's got a picture of it here where you drive in for your service. I saw it just a minute ago. I can't, I can't keep track of it. He has a picture of the first Model A that was in town. It was in this showroom right here. Oh, really? And I got a print of it. And, and you, can, you can go in there right now and it's exactly the same inside. The tile floor yeah. and everything's the same. And I didn't realize that the Coliseum, before it was a Coliseum, was a Ford Motor place. Uh -huh. Here's the drive through. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, the drive in for service. <laughs> yeah, this is just up, upstairs. Yeah. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. the so that's what the Coliseum used to be. Mm -hmm. Get about a step and a half. Yeah, we'll right there. Oh, I'll be yeah. darned. What do we manufacture here? Some bombs. Well, they're right now. Those are bombs. Yeah. 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 Ye
Here's. It's interesting. I was wondering what this was up here. I thought, I thought maybe that. That's not the M. Well, oh, here we're getting older here, and then we get back to the open cars here. Yeah. This, these, these, I have movies of these cars on that 36 film that I've lost. 100 feet of these. This Here's some long. cars out at the car barn. Uh, let's see what numbers these are. 25, 26. That's, I think they changed those numbers later on to uh, 629. Here's 629. Right here. Here's 29. Yeah, I think that's the same as these cars, only different paint job. 621, 22, and 29 were the three like that that ran sort of up in urban line. They were a little faster than the city cars. These old 300 <coughs> slow cars. And these odd, see the odd number 800s had the low trolley stands they, because they didn't run on the interim. They ran in town. They were geared for lower speeds. The 800, 246, and 8, they, those things hit 60 mile an hour. Yeah. Oh, my God. Going particularly down that hill going toward Marietta. But you know the thing about when you got going that fast, you need to have a wheel back there that drums on the roof and makes a vibrating sound. They didn't use slides here, all the length, the well, high speed wheels, cars yeah. had wheels in, yeah. 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 Okay. Did this come off your camera? No. Yeah, there's the wheel. Came out of my yeah. pocket. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's, not, that's good up to about 60, but boy, when you get around 60, those things just start howling. You can't really run that fast with them because they drum on the roof. It's about a slide will run the uh, on our yeah, Oh, is that right? Yeah. All well, the old churches, eh? St. Andrews, St. Paul's. Yeah, that's my old home church here. You ever St. Paul's? Right here. No, 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 no. Not St. Andrews. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Right, I saw it here. I'll see it here in just a minute. I, that, that, that station right there was down in the corner of Julian and, and Murdoch Avenue. That's, it, that's exactly right. There's a restaurant there. It's called the Windmill Restaurant. Yeah, that's a Sterling station. Mm -hmm. I wish I'd have brought that picture of that Marietta station. I've got a color on a postcard. It's a beautiful station. It's a little like that, but a little bit nicer. Andrews. Now, my church is in here someplace. What's going on here building the Julian Street Bridge? Mm -hmm. What year was that? Not, not too long ago. Probably in the what, early 70s. Mm -hmm. 73. They got the piers there for it. Look at the, the old picture old, down there. Look, these are old cars down there, Howard. The Look old at this bridge go down. <coughs> what did it finally quit running? Using, was it dangerous toward the end? Or? Well, it, 19 and 2. Shake. Look at that. <laughs> the hub. The uh, first news I got of the Silver Bridge going down. I was right in the middle of the Belfry Bridge, stuck in traffic, and it was something there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 man. You're talking about that bridge down front. Yeah. Man, that was a bad one, wasn't it? Those yeah. bridges were all built too weak. I was sitting there, I had the radio on, the big news flash came on, the Silver Bridge collapsed. <laughs> Get no, off here. Nobody quick. knows how many people went in the river. Oh, God. My sister-in-law worked down there at the phone company, and uh, they had a hell of a time finding it. She traveled that bridge every day. Mm. Yeah. There's several people killed in that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look here, Aaron. Oh. Three million oh, Ford man. truck. <laughs> oh, here's the good old trolley pictures. Yeah, man, look at this. Six, oh, you got 604, 604, I mean 605. There was one. 604 mm -hmm. was one car of a kind. That it was a short car. car. Last, the other day. No, I forget the, the number Roger was asking about. 623 or something, I think. Well, 623, I got a picture of it over on the side. He had a mule up on the hill there north of Central. Did you ever see that picture of that? Mm -hmm. I'll just send you some of uh, this. Uh, are you still collecting pictures? I think this picture here, I, I think I took that picture. Steve, uh, yeah, yeah, I or Steve did that. Uh, My nephew brought the, he, he collects pictures like that. He brought me a whole stack. Oh, is that, now, was this gauge the same <laughs> as the railroad? Yes. I thought so. Gauge, uh -huh. Yeah. Because they, uh, I, they used to switch cars across the yeah the bridge, bridge there. didn't they? Yeah. To, yeah, up to the shovel old. plant and yeah. places like that. Is that the locomotive they used to do? Yeah. Six fifty four was a wooden engine like this. I don't see it here. Oh, I didn't, didn't yeah, here it is. There's the old switcher that oh. would haul the cars before. Then they got these steel ones, I think, just before the war or during the war. But 
I don't once in a while this old thing here would pull something, but hmm. gosh, I know that guy's face, but I don't know. I remember him in the shops there, but I can't think of his name. That was a truck that had all those workings that this trolley car had, and that was sort of the train people on that thing. Oh, is that right? Oh, these are nice. The lady come in, or she was looking for this one. Her husband had uh, six twenty nine. <coughs> saved it, and they rebuilt it. Oh, used it as a summer home. Is that right? Six twenty nine has been saved. That's good. <coughs> Some kids got in throwing, tore the hell out of it. Oh mm. no, kidding! Gee whiz, that was that was the last car we rode to Marietta. That came. That was the last car out of Marietta. We had the public on it and took it. I've got movies of that thing, and I got some color shots of that sitting in the streets of Marietta. Twenty-nine, yeah, that was a good car. The even hundred eight numbers. Uh, here's interesting. Eight oh, well, yeah. that's eight oh one. Now that's unusual for eight oh one to have the high trolley stands on it. Eight oh two, four, six, and eight had them, but I didn't. I didn't think that the <coughs> numbers eight oh seven C they didn't have a high trolley stand. Mm -hmm. They must have had this. So they could run it on the Enderba mine, because the wires up there when you go over the railroad tracks would be way up high. Oh, so yeah. That's the reason they had to build those stands up higher. These were old rally cars. These curve size, hmm. motor noise, and the rail used to get scalped down around North Market Street. They'd be growl and chatter. Yeah, they made a lot of racket when they'd yeah. go around the turns. I know. I used to get out in the line. I'd put <coughs> on a bicycle. Is that a bicycle in there now? Mm-hmm. My pub is my bike. I, I, they, they'd take me on, and I'd take me back into town on a bike. I, I knew all those guys. Good night. It's interesting to see these on the flat cars. Those are the ones that they brought back from Marietta. They got stranded up there during the flood. They went oh. bring them back down here. So they brought them back on the train flat cars. Huh. Oh my gosh, he look here. He thinks that's his bicycle on the back of that one because he said he used to. Here's John he Butcher here. Motorman. John's still him, living and comes to our meetings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He name. said it probably, well, you see, you, that could, likely could be your bike. Oh, yeah, I used to get on. Okay. They'd, let, they'd take me on, those guys and get me up there. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, John Butcher, is a wonderful fellow. He invented something to do with water valves for water softeners and ended up with a lot of money. He lives in Circleville, Ohio. He's about 87 now. And he comes down to, we have a big trolley meeting in Annapolis every year, first weekend after Labor Day. And he comes, he's the only guy left that motored these cars mm -hmm. that comes to this meet. <laughs> we, we've all gained weight since then. <laughs> Why is that? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> Thanks so much you for bet. showing me that. That's a real nice decoupage there. Gosh. The Van Winkler, what the world is that? Is Van Winkler Hotel. Sixth and Avery. Sixth and Avery, well that. That's one. Of, that's was way. Before. I would never. I never recognized that name. Oh no, that must be late uh, 1800s or 19. This line, they built that switch. It went over here to a, where they unload cinders into a cinder car there with trucks up here. They dump it and then this, they they pull off and take the car, bring it in and take it down and put cinder ballast on the line up to Marietta. Hmm. That, that was the only. Do you remember that at all? That's right off of the Dudley Avenue is right yeah. up here. You gotta remember he's two years younger than me and I don't remember <laughs> those. You, you guys don't remember streetcars at all here? Oh sure. I used to ride them yeah. every Sunday every every Saturday. My oh, aunt yeah. would take me and my sister downtown to see the movies. Oh gosh. Every Saturday. We'd get on the trolley and ride oh, up yeah. from Beachwood and ride down. You remember those Christmas Merry Christmas signs they put on the B and O bridge across Market Street? I think so. I've got pictures of streetcars running underneath oh, those really? signs. Yeah. Uh, my son's got all that stuff on a computer. I don't know. He's. I don't know what, whether to. Here's your bus station at Seventh Street. To you, let you bring him in to see if. I don't know what. Could, here. That not my dad, but that those are the first streamlined buses. I've got movies of those, and I got a movie of a state police car, and it was a 1937 Ford convertible. Huh. Hmm. So the state police had a few Ford convertibles then for. Hmm. What was that, the C9? What were those called? C19s? What were that bus? Uh, that was the first room. You asked me too quick, yeah. I can't remember the number <laughs> of it now. Oh, this is wonderful. I'll tell you, I'm seeing stuff here. I had a friend that built a home in 1940 for $40,000. Do you know in 1940 you could build a mansion for $40,000? <laughs> 
<laughs> it looked like some of those homes up in North Market Street. <laughs> well, my father bought the house on Quincy for seven thousand dollars. My gosh! And uh, forty-five, and uh, my son built his house, or bought this house, and I don't have to pay for it. You know, it was good God! And I said, you know, I said your grandfather's spinning in his grave. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Henry Keller's clothing house band. That's interesting. My gosh. The punchline was, <clears throat> what happened to the hats when the wind came up when they were out marching? Yeah. <laughs> I've wondered about that old, uh, uh, there was an old uh, ladder truck here, fire truck, that went it's over to the south side. I got some movies of it pulling out of the garage over there years ago. It was a front wheel drive. I think it was American La France. And the motor hung out over the front, but it used to be down here in this main station. You guys fire engine pictures here. It's amazing how high up that water was. That's the lower windows and on the first floor of the uh -huh. city building. And the 13 flood was more than that, I think. Yeah, the 37 got up to the mantles in the house I'm living in now, in my house. And the 13 was up at the tops of the door sills. Really? Yeah, and it's got, that, that house has got nine foot ceilings in it. Hmm. You guys ever used to go out in old car and jump yards and I'd, I'd pick out those discs that used to be on Model T transmissions. They made the best things to sail while you could sail those discs. Oh, before the Frisbees? Yeah, yeah. before Frisbees. Where Did we know we had a brewing company here? Parksburg Lager and Brewer? Oh, Parksburg Brewer? They're tearing the front end of that down. I crossed yeah. by there the other day. Is that right? It's like it's uh, it's last days. Where well, it's out on seventh, isn't it? Yeah. Is that it here? Yeah, that's it. I've got oh, a good yeah. colored picture of that. I got a picture of him pulling that thing out of the bride, bride show. That, that used to be over here in town in this station, then they took it to the south side. Yeah. What would it be king of that, I wonder? I saw it years and years ago. Oh, I don't know what street it was on now. It was off, off of uh, Lake Beauty. That's, right. that's an American mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, front wheel drive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, solid rubber tires. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would say it was privately owned when I saw yeah, it. It was just sitting mean. inside somebody's house. And There's a, it and the railroad bought bridge from taken from Avery Street, looking out across the river. See the bridge That's going out across the river? Neat. Isn't that a nice yeah, shot? It's a nice shot. Gosh, yes. What would that have been from? The roof of a building or what? Well, there was an old building there yeah. in that corner on the north, yeah, the, uh, where the uh, west corner, Van Winkle Hotel. But I love that was. perspective of that. The way that thing runs down and turns <coughs> to the left, mm -hmm. down and in across the bridge. Mm -hmm. You know, when the uh, barge blew up and it damaged the uh, railroad bridge, yeah. so uh, I was at home. I was at, up in my father's house in um, Quincy, and he called me. He says, "Get down here, this man wants to talk to you." So I come down, and he says, uh, "He's in charge of the." reconstruction of that bridge mm -hmm. and uh, he says uh, we're going to go out he wants you to take progress pictures every month go out on, on the Belfry Bridge and take a shot of it okay so we go out down there he says uh, now if you stand right here we can get a good shot I said okay fine no problem he says now I'd like to get a close up of the damage and I said how close he said about six feet <laughs> and I says how do we get out there he says well we'll get out to Avery Street and we'll walk out on the bridge Mm -hmm. I says, well, young man, this is how you use this camera. I mean, I have a, I have a four by five camera. See, and I <laughs> says, you, 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 he started laughing. He says, you won't. I says, you ain't got enough money to get me on that bridge. Oh, I fun. said, now you take a pumper. We'll, we'll pump, pump it out there with you. And we'll go out. I said, but if I start walking from Avery, I'll fall off before I get to market. <laughs> oh, man, so, that's terrible. Because, you know, those ties aren't, you know, 12 inches apart. Oh, I mean, they you'd have to take an all over the place. So uh, I went out there every month and stood on that damn Belfry Bridge. In February, it was colder than oh, blazes. I bet it was. And uh, <laughs> so I'm out there, and you don't stand where the walk was. You've got to get on the traffic side mm -hmm. because Gosh, the, the yeah. railroad bridge was over there. So I'm taking the pictures, and uh, this car pulls up, and I looked, and it was a woman, and I motioned for her to go around me, and she shook her head no, and I said, oh, I'm dumb, damn broad. So I take my pictures and I get done. I said, man, you could have went around me. She said, no, I just thought I'd hold the traffic up for you. Oh. I said, well, God bless you. Here I called her a dirty name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So the day they, they, they ran, they opened it up. They had three diesels on that baby doll because it was a long train. Oh, man. So uh, the guy says, uh, I'd like to get the first shot one 
engine on it, and then the second shot two engines, and the third shot three. Yeah. I says, well, this is what you do. And I told him, I says, I'll shoot the first one. I'll take that, put the slide in, pull that holder out, and hand it to you. You hand me that one. Mm -hmm. I can get it in here. And then when I get done with that one, you hand me the first one back and turn it so that the white side's out so I know that that hasn't been taken. Yeah. So we did it in about seconds. Mm -hmm. So he says, uh, I said, what happens if that thing collapses? He oh, says, uh, well, he says, if you turn this way, you can get a picture of me running. <laughs> well, he'll never be back there. He said, that'd be interesting. That'd be catastrophic, wouldn't it? <laughs> and that thing ran. We stood on the bridge and talked. And then I walked down and started up Market Street from Fifth Street, and that baby doll was still going. Mm. And they had cars piled up over in Belfry, you know, by a ton. How long was that bridge out of service? Oh, oh gee, well, several that's months. Is yeah. that right? Gosh. Well, they had to replace that whole section. Yeah. Did they? Is it, is it, was that bad an explosion? We used to, I used to take my canoe out there and, and go up those steps and dive off those steps yeah. higher and higher. And higher. It was a lot of Worst fun. possible. Well, here's not the, the worst truck. possible, but a bad place for that to blow first up. Truck, that towing first truck, Howard. Not towing company. First truck in the city, it says. Is it, it's not like a truck, is it? I don't yeah, know, but it's... Of it on top of the then down here is the International place. Truck Place, Cunningham Auto Company on Ann at 4th, right there below yeah, it. Yeah, look at that. My yeah, gosh. Well, here's a Viscos plant now. You know oh, about those oh yeah, boy. That was built in the 20s, wasn't it? Oh, oh, that's that's way back there, yeah. yeah. I've got movies you know, of people coming out of that plant. Oh, boy. Back tell her I do some auto customers. This is rather recent. Yes, well, the 60s. Yeah. Any picture here in the 60s would be recent. It's recent to me, but yeah. that's 40 years ago. 40 years ago, can you believe that? <laughs> the Coke bottling plant <laughs> here in process. Yeah. 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 Coke bottling plant here. I didn't realize we had a Coca-Cola plant here, but I guess we did. 1936. Knee high, boy, I used to drink that stuff. Yeah, great. Look at here, the Weezer cabs. I had forgotten about the Weezer cabs. Look at them down there. Those are all Plymouths. Those are 47 Plymouths down there. You're right. Do you remember New York City cabs had the sodas about the yes. So there was a lot of those, movies those sedan, They had those uh, big uh, yeah. town cars, sedans. My gosh, 1897. Limous, limousines, DeSoto limousines. Yeah. Boy, there's a lot of board work up there in that oh, history station. Gosh, there are people that walk. That's a boardwalk. It's yeah. pretty wide. Yeah. Now this is a different kind of a diesel here. What's this? This B and O diesel. What is that? That's a diesel. That's an S, I think it's an SW100. They call it there. Is that a switcher? Or, or it could be. Well, it's pulling passenger cars. Though. Yeah. No, I tell you what. That that's a GP7 or GP9, and they geared some of those to pull. They're really freight engines, but they geared some to pull passenger trains, and it's kind of rare to see that. How many of these doodle bugs do you have? There's pictures of these. Gas electric cars there. You have several of those. There's a bunch of guys that beat every year the doodle bug up around Ms. Zanesville. They always want to find well, out. One fella come in here and uh, he saw that, you know, and he says uh, he's going to have a meeting. This has been several years. Well, yeah. about the first or second year I was here. I've been here about five years. Mm -hmm. And he says, uh, Could I get a print of that? I said, Yes. Yeah. So he uh, got a print. Mm -hmm. Then he came back in about That's a week later and he said, uh, well, What's a chance on getting about 50 of them? <laughs> I said, a hell of a good chance. A real good chance, <laughs> yeah. He well, says, will you give me a better deal? I said, well, I can give you a little better. I can't because of the price of paper and all. So I made him for him, and he sold, evidently sold every damn one. But he did. There's a bunch of people just knitters as a dickens in you these You wouldn't have cars. to know those guys standing there, would you? No, I don't, unfortunately. Well, this you've ridden that, haven't you? No, I never did ride that Zanesville train, darn it. One thing I did was shoot the President's train when it went up to Belpre, to, from Belpre to uh, Marietta in 1938. Yeah. It's on that tape. I it's have. on that tape, yeah. Paul, yeah. oh, you ought to get my tape. I'd love to have it. I keep hearing about it, but I don't know where to get it. Well, you, I'll give you an 800 number to call Tampa, right. Florida. Guys I'd love to have it. I really would. I, got a, Roger, you got a VHS player. Yeah, Roger's talked about it, and you've you talked are. about it. Young and there's a train right there. Oh, great. Let's see here. There's some of them are on the wall and some of them Ooh, there's a wreck at the roundhouse. You somehow run into a turntable and the track wasn't lined up. Oh. <laughs> that happened once in a while. Sixth Street Station, 1880. Is that that's the older? That's not the present station, was it? Is, is, is it? Yeah, that was that's it, the same yeah. one. I guess it was the same yeah. one. It just looked. The old telephone poles are gone. 
But it's a sad thing today, you see, you go out on these big rail lines, there's no pull lines along them anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, back in years ago, those little old branch lines didn't have pull lines, but all the big main lines had telephone poles going. Of course, I didn't used to like them because they get in the way of your pictures. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, look at this. Well, oh, that's nice. You know, the boost. You you have that, uh, on that tape, you have that shot of the uh, Cincinnati in, too. The Nice streamline oh, engine. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, yeah gosh. Oh, 96, that's a oh, ugly thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That engine there was probably on the way to an exhibit somewhere. What, well, that was one of the, you know, they call those Mother Hubbards or Camelbacks, I believe they call those engines. Those things later went to that St. Louis Museum, and they're still out there. Oh, gosh, yes. Do you remember they'd blow the whistles on New Year's Eve at down around the house? Man, they'd <laughs> blow every whistle. And, you know, I was telling you, I thought about that house on Quincy, Yeah. and uh, my daughter and her family live there now. Mm -hmm. I said, you might as well live there, you know, if they rent to me or anything. Sure. So when they put a, put a new roof on it uh, last year, yeah. and those guys came off that roof just covered black. Set from engines. Because that roof had been up there for oh, years. Right. And it was, oh, said yeah. They'd pull some of that tile off there, and it's a big chunk of that down the back <laughs> stuff that come down. A lot of cinders fell on that house during it. Those are nice shots of both of those stations. That 6th Street at Ann Street Station is a very interesting station. The tracks kind of were at the le second level, weren't they? Mm, yeah, you had to yeah. walk upstairs to get on. Yeah, we used to, during the war, they'd call us from east from Kodak in Pittsburgh and said there was a truck coming in with supplies. And so mm -hmm. Pop and I'd get up at 3 in the morning and we'd go up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the truck would come in, you'd order right off the truck, and then they'd oh, ship it to you. Oh, here's the, this shot that he's got over on the yeah, wall. Well, nice. I like that shot. That's, that's, a, great, that's a great a, shot. That is yeah. a wonderful perspective. Sure. If I had the time, I like to model this town here, both trolleys and railroads. <laughs> you know, fun. when I was built, I was quite a bridge. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, at one time, according to what it's on the picture back here, it was considered the longest railway bridge in the world at one particular Could time. Been yeah. years ago. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. I suppose back when it was first built. What year did they build that across the river? Back in the 18... Uh, the original bridge. Yeah, the He's got a picture of the original there. bridge back there. It was after it was Civil just, War, wasn't it? No, before Civil War. Before Civil War. Yeah, because they sent troops in and guarded. Oh. And the Confederate troops went to uh, Volcano and did a set out of the oil wells down there. Oh, really? 1871. 1871. 1871. The yeah, first yeah. bridge back there. That'd be after the Civil War, then. Yeah. That Is that the, the first bridge? The first bridge. The first bridge. Is that late? 1871. Okay. How's that about uh, Carlisle last week, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, the, guy was, the guy I was renting a spot off of uh, to park my trailer uh, went Indiana. downtown with him. Yeah, there it is. I've got a color movie of that boy going through here. And he said there are, there are cannonball places in the in the brick courthouse over there. We went by the courthouse and mm -hmm. said, you can see where cannonballs hit that wall of the courthouse. <laughs> is that right? And I said, how far are you from Gettysburg? And he said, oh, well, it's 30 miles. And I said, they got over here too. And he said, yeah, they come over here for shoes. They had shoe factories there. Oh, is that right? I said, well, that makes sense. <laughs> came over to Carl <clears throat> get shoes. Well, you know, there was a house at the corner of 9th and uh, Joanna. And uh, during the war, there was a Confederate, this was Union. And it would be Union today and the Confederate tomorrow. Yeah, they marched yeah. up to Anna Street, and here was a Confederate flag flying from that house. Hmm. And this uh, lieutenant went up and knocked on the door, and this lady came out, and he says, uh, yeah, you have to move that flag. And she says, no. And he says, "That's uh, so this is Union territory. And I says, I don't care. It doesn't come down. He said, I talked to your husband. She says, he's not here. Where is he? He's in Virginia fighting you Yankees. Oh. <laughs> so he tipped his hat to the lady, and he left. And uh, years later, they, after the war, he, he and her husband and she became real good friends. Is that right? And she invited him to his home. What car is this? What is this? A, a that, that, that's a gas and electric car, actually, that ran on the Zanesville local. It crossed the bridge, went up, up here, here oh, and up okay. the river, and went on to Zanesville. Yeah, big old, yeah, big old Mallee there, isn't it? It, it looked like a, yeah, that is a Mallee. Not big darn, that's a big B and O Mallee. They, I don't think they got out here very often, but... Probably had trouble getting through the tunnels with it, didn't they? Remember, remember the last steam train went through here? Gordon, I, I think that was the one when we came through here in 72. I don't know whether it came since then or not. Mm. You got on the road with us at Chillicothe. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Pat followed us over in the yeah. car. Yeah. 
Boy, awesome. look at that bent rod. That was a bad one. Something an axle mm. must have broken on that thing. Mm -hmm. There's that on the bridge. Boy, those guys up there would love these pictures. Did they look at any other one of these doodle bug pictures you had? I think they'd collect any of these. I got a picture of a doodle bug that has a diaphragm on the front of it to connect with another coach. There's only, they said there was only one like it. I thought maybe you might have a picture of it here. I didn't see it yet, but I, I got a movie of it coming into Parkersburg from the east. Oh, really? Yeah, and that's the one I've lost, that movie. I just I never did yeah, get it. one in the creek here. Oh boy, yeah. There was a big wreck over at Belfry here, where the engines in the winter time they rolled over the side of the embankment. Do you, yeah. remember, do you remember that? Yeah, I expect you do. <clears throat> what, what bridge are they working on here? Is it's the uh, Belfry or the Belfry Railroad, or the railroad bridge here in town. Is that right? Putting new ties on, I guess. Oh, here's is that your Cincinnati? Yeah, that's a Cincinnati. Yeah. That's a nice engine. I'd like to have a model of that. Mm-hmm. Here's the new diesel. That's a cab that I rode from. I rode from how'd you get a, back How'd here. you wrangle a ride up front? Oh, I rode the superintendent of transportation and got it all planned ahead of time. They had a road foreman of engines ride with us. Oh, man. I rode over in engine 5044. It was a big Pacific on train 29, a mail train going west. Well, now they have it like a jump seat, and you couldn't ride up in one of the two yeah, front seats, you could could you? See, Yeah, you rode. You could sit behind the fireman. There was oh, enough okay. room there to sit. Yeah, okay. And I found out that the tender rode a lot smoother than the locomotive you stand back on the tender rode smoother than the engine. But coming back, but the funny thing well, was, we, we, we kept, we, here'd be a big bang on the roof every now and then. We'd knock an icicle off of a tunnel coming over oh. through Eastern Ohio. <laughs> oh, man. Man, what a ride. That'd be a front boy. I'd love to see that. But you know, uh, I came back, I've got some movies of that, uh, some movies. I took, I took a picture out of the front end going through Porterfield over here. Porterfield's how far out is that from here, by the way? Oh, it's not. Four miles, yeah, up to four miles. Like that. Yeah, that was the place where they picked up mail. There was a mail stand there to pick up a sack of mail. Oh, look at here, boy, 5100. Those are the hocking engines for. Now the uh, the passenger trains, they they dieselized them. Yeah. From the east to Parkersburg here, and then they switched and put switched to steam here, and went west with steam. Oh, west, the, west with steam. That's right. Doodle bug here. Look here at the back end of this car. By the way, there's a McClintock here had a private car That's called the Wayside. Yeah. The Wayside. Yeah. I rode with him on that car yeah. in '61 or two. They had a big, oh, big special train out of Huntington. We had a private car from Louisville. We came in and joined him, and he coupled that car on. Went to see the opening of the big Cass Railroad Museum when they first mm -hmm. went to the top of the mountain. And the governor at that time was Smith, and he rode with us and went up and dedicated that line. That's been a great, you ever go down to ride that thing? That's no, I, I and then took pictures of his, all the, the oh, they said car. there's still some cars parked here in town. There is, it's some, supposedly his son's bus on it. Now this was a painting they had next to, on the side of a wall of Stouts. Oh, is that right? And of the 6th Street Station. Yeah. And then when the company moved their offices in there, they painted it all white. Oh, oh is that right? I'm glad you like blue, shot But it. it's, it's peeling off and I'm hoping that's still underneath. Yeah. There. I'd like to know somebody that, could let us into the model railroad building and let him see their display in there. They've got a display in the middle of the located? The basement of Noe's printing Noe? over here. Oh, About 5,000 square feet of train. I don't know trains. if Noe has, know, Fred's got keys in there or not. They're having their annual meet here next month, first next month, and it's open house, and I always go down. Hmm? Did you ever see that layout over there? No, I haven't. I, I know uh, a fellow, I used to work with a fellow that's in that organization. Well, they, they they have their own keys. They can come into the thing. We just need to know somebody that can get us in. Well, Louis Creel. Let's Louis. give him a call. See if he'll do okay. it. You know it? Yeah. He used to work with him. Yes. Yeah, I was there when they started putting it together. Of course, I didn't see a whole They've lot. They've got G. they got O. they got uh, N. They've got all kinds of stuff. Here's the there. car I was talking about. Only since this picture was made, they have a diaphragm around that door that comes out a little ways. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't, I've only seen one of these cars that had that kind of a front end on it, but that's it. I'm gonna tell you about these two. Guy up in Marietta, <clears throat> he's uh, instrumental in trying to open up the theater up there. Yeah. And uh, he got to talk to this guy, see if he had any pictures of some of the, the old theaters. Mm -hmm. And uh, he says, well, he says, I got a whole bunch there in the house. So he went in the house, said they'd been under a in a fire and some of them, you know, stuck together and so on. Mm -hmm. But he came out with uh, several pictures, and so the guy brought them to me, and I printed them for him. So I took them back. So uh, he came in a few days later. He says, uh, 
he had these two negatives he wondered if you could make a print off of them. And I said, yeah, there's no, this one, it looked, two pictures that stuck that's together, see? Yeah, so I was sitting back here in the dark room and just looking at it, and I thought, well, heck, I said, where it's stuck is not the emotion side. So I start just rubbing it with my fingers, yeah. and the emotion and the other negatives start coming off. Hmm. So I just kept going at it, you know, putting lighter fluid on it, rubbing it, peeled it all off, it was all nice and clean. So I made two prints oh, for it. That's great. This is the car I'm talking about.